welcome back to Design Matters TV. You'll notice that I'm not in the studio today, I'm actually filming here at Festival of Quilts. So the first thing I'm going to do is apologise if there's any background noise. Obviously the show's open, we've picked the quietest moment we could, but if people wander into shot, I'm really sorry about that. And if there's a bit of a hum in the background, then again, apologies. But I wanted to take the opportunity to show you a little bit of the Through Our Hands exhibit that Annabelle Rainbow and I have curated. And we're really thrilled that the Festival of Quilts organisers have given us such a fantastic space to display work by really some of the world's most former, foremost art quilters. And we've got work on display from 10 artists. So I want to show you all of the pieces if I can. So we'll do a little introduction and then I want to show you a slideshow of different pieces. So many of you will know my friend Annabelle Rainbow, who we're working together on Through Our Hands. And of course, Annabelle is also one of the artists who's exhibiting. And you might have seen her work on DMTV before, but in the show today, we've got some of the newer pieces and we're really excited to show you those. So I'm gonna hand over to Annabelle now and she'll tell you a little bit about this piece, which is another in her life series of quilts. Thank you. This is Life 7 and it's called On the Shelf for obvious reasons. Um, but this lady is just going through the menopause and what's happened here is that her husband has come home and he's told her that he's found somebody younger. Uh, and of course she's very miserable and unhappy. Um, but eventually, when she's got used to the idea that if somebody doesn't love you, you are free and she can do what she wants when she wants. So she's happy, she's happy being on the shelf. And the quilt is just um, an explanation of that. In the background, on the wallpaper, there are these stripes. And the stripes give the symptoms of the menopause and the things that we use to try and cope with that. Um, over here on the table is a still life. This is based on the Dutch oil paintings of the 17th century, um, which were allegorical. Um, we have here a skull 
and some tablets for mortality, the shortness of life. We've got eggs for fertility. We have various things here which are the luxuries in life. And here, using the language of flowers, we've got a drooping burgundy rose. And this is about love in later life. This is a pieced quilt, which is done in English fashion over papers. And that's put together before it's applicated into place and then painted. So as you can see, Annabelle's quilts are really symbolic, um, but also technically brilliant. And we wanted to show how she creates them. So we've set up a little studio space with some of her most recent quilts actually in progress and in an unfinished state. So we're going to take you over to that now. Now we wanted to do something a little bit different with Through Our Hands and often when you see a quilt exhibition there's just white walls with quilts on them but we wanted to set up a studio space where not necessarily work was going to happen but it would look like somebody had just got up and gone off for a cup of tea and you could see kind of the chaos that the artist works in. So Annabelle's bought loads of her stuff from home and I've contributed a few things as well but most importantly there's some work in progress on the easel here so I'm going to step out and I'm going to let Annabelle show you those in a bit more detail. Right, this is Life Nine. This is the one I'm working on at the moment. And as you can see, it's not finished. Uh, the reason for doing this is so that people to the show can see how I construct the quilts. Um, the first thing I do is to layer up my fabric. So I've got a, a, a plain white front, a wadding, a backing, which are pinned together. I then take a soft pencil and I try to put the outline of the person in. It's a life drawing. I can work from a photograph or a model. Um, and when it's drawn and I'm happy with it, then I free machine round the outside to get that image safe and secure. Once that's right, the rest of the quilt can follow. On this one, you can see perhaps the pencil outlines of text. I try to follow the musculature of the leg in this case, so that when it's painted, it looks more like a leg than it would do if I made the text straight. Once it's all written on, I then use free machining to go over it with a cotton thread. I might then at that point decide to paint the body or I might leave it and go on to do the background. It depends how I feel. This one is about depression. If you look over here, we've got words in bright red which are the negative things about depression. But because I've stitched on the top, they've gone backwards. So they're bright red, but they don't stand out. Here's the positive words. And you can see they don't have any extra colour. They're the same as the background. But because I've stitched around them, they stand out. So the effect is that the positive is stronger than the negative. And the quilt is called fighting back. So it all fits in with that theme.
either side of me here are two of my newest quilts, uh, which continue to explore a theme where I'm using, again, quite symbolic things, so a bit like Annabelle's, there's a real story behind these. Um, but today I just want to talk to you a little bit about the techniques that I've been using. Um, these quilts are both digitally printed, and that's something that I'm really focusing on with my new work. So rather than actually painting onto the cloth like Annabelle's done, what I've done is I've made a painting beforehand on a wooden panel, photographed that painting, and then printed that to fabric before quilting. So these quilts are both whole cloth quilts. So this one was the painting, and then this one is a little bit more complicated. This one I made some drawings on paper in my sketchbook. So I drew a self-portrait of my face. I also drew the hands in pencil in my book. And in Photoshop, what I've done is I've taken those drawings and I've morphed them together digitally with a photo of my body. So I chopped my head off, beheaded myself, and took the photographic head off and replaced it with the drawn head. Um, and did the same with the hands, because I wanted my hands to be holding the bird that I use as the symbol in a lot of these quilts. So all of that collage type work was done digitally in Photoshop before printing it again to fabric and that's done whole cloth so there's no applique, no patchwork, it's my dream. I just get to do the stitching straight away. And you'll notice on this one, hopefully it's catching the light really nicely. The only additional thing I did was to gild this top section. So behind the gold here is actually navy blue and I sized the fabric and then gilded it with gold leaf. I wanted it to look like one of those really precious icon paintings um, that you see in, in art galleries, the really, really ancient ones. So I hope it's captured a little bit of that feel. our quick uh, video tour of the Through Our Hands gallery and that you'll enjoy looking out for Through Our Hands exhibitions coming to a venue near you very soon. Thanks for watching, bye for now.